The Micro Twin is a lightweight gantry built from aluminium. The width of the gantry can be tailor-made to meet customers' requirement. The maximum width between the legs is 6 meters. Robots used for this application are FANUC LR Mate robots. This type of robot has been used in various InroTech solutions for many years and with great success. Even small, it has proven durable and provides a consistent performance. Due to its small size, it is more agile than larger robots when it comes to confined space. The dual arm setup of the robots makes it possible to weld with both robots simultaneously when moving with the gantry. Thus, very long profiles can be welded in one go. The wire feeder is positioned close to the robots in order to provide a stable and precise wire feed. Next to each robot, a torch cleaning system is installed. It has the following functionalities. Gas cup reamer, wire cutter, spraying of anti-spatter, Main components, like robot controllers, welding machines and power cabinets are installed in the legs of the gantry. The Kempi A7 power source is a very solid and reliable welding machine, especially suitable for robot welding and providing an excellent arc sensor signal. The InroTech Micro Twin has two options for wire supply. Either a wire roll placed on the robot console or a wire drum placed at the gantry leg. The integrated housing holds the welding torch, a laser sensor and the fume extraction nozzle. The laser sensor is protected behind closed door, except during the sensing operation. The housing is pressurized in order to prevent contamination of the laser lens. On the overhead bar, line scanners for outline scanning of panels are placed. The scanners are of a German quality brand. Fume extraction takes place close to the welding arc via InroTech's integrated fume extraction nozzle. The nozzle is designed in such a way that it ensures optimal capture of the welding fumes without causing unintentional removal of the shielding gas. The gantry is provided with several cameras, which allows the operator to follow the process without entering the working area. The cameras are placed in such a way that both the overall work area as well as the specific working area of the robot can be viewed. The cameras can be accessed remotely via a secure access gateway. This is a very effective tool for troubleshooting in connection with online support. The user interface consists of a Windows-based touchscreen with simple choices for the daily operation. Most commands are icon-based or otherwise in clear local language, no codes. This means that the InroTech MicroTwin is intuitive for the operator to use. No programming needed, only selection of choices on the HMI. The HMI is installed in a console which can be placed at a convenient location. The rail system consists of a heavy-duty tooth racks which serves both a support for the wheels of the gantry as well as being a mean for propelling the gantry. The rails can either be installed directly on top of a conveyor or bolted onto the floor. The teeth are placed in a vertical position in order to avoid contamination by dirt or objects. The top of the tooth rack, which serves as runway for the gantry wheels, is cleaned by scrapers placed in front of the wheels. The grounding from the welding machines are transferred to the rail system by means of sliding carbon contractors. The working area of the InroTech Micro Twin must be fenced either by a physical fence with a safety door, a safety light curtain or a combination of both. By intruding the working area with an activated light curtain, the gantry stops immediately. By using light curtains, the working area can be divided into multiple zones, thereby creating a space for fit-up, etc. The key words by which the InroTech Micro Twin can be characterized are simple operation, easy to use, no offline programming, high scanning time, proven technology, well and expediently designed, compact, effective.
The Inrotec Micro Twin can weld both horizontal and vertical joints. By using an optimal welding process, gas, wire, pulse program, etc., post weld distortion can be held at an absolute minimum. This is of particular interest when welding thin material.